Well, I think the big thing is you get an opportunity with your coaching staff and your entire team uh, to be together. You know, you're building your camaraderie, you're working on chemistry, uh, togetherness, and it's a good time of the year to do that uh, for us. But, you know, our purpose right now, really, uh, we're taking a real hard look at ourselves offensively. Uh, how many different guys right now acclimating our new guys can learn different positions. And our hope would be at, towards the end of the summer as we approach our preseason that you know, systematically, offensively, we have a really good feel of what we're trying to accomplish. It's great. You know, with three new freshmen, um, you know, we get to get in here and get a chance to get together as a team. Super excited about the season. You know, everyone still has that bitter taste in their mouth from last year. You know, we just want to continue to improve. And, um, you know, some of the older guys bring along the younger guys and everything will fall in place. It just gets us ready for the season. You know, it's an early blueprint of what we're going to do during the season. So it's a good time getting out here early, you know, learning the plays and helping the younger guys get, you know, into the system. I think one of the things you can really do is kind of set the tone for how you practice. Um, you know, walking into a college practice for the first time is a lot different. So as they're getting acclimated to school, one of the things that you hope is the pace of the practice, the pace of the drills, the, the way that we coach on the run, um, all those things are starting to get a little bit more natural. So when they approach September, October, November, it's not all foreign to them. So giving them a little bit of a baseline for practice and what it takes to, to get through one of them, even if it's an hour, um, to me is very important. Just the opportunity to get this chance to get together. You know, this is when you hone in on, you know, getting your offense together and, you know, those sorts of things. So when practice time comes, you know, coach is not reteaching it to everybody. We're just kind of in the flow by that time. So it's good. Most importantly, I think all of them are acclimating great with the other guys on the team, which is the big thing that you're looking for. Um, academically, they're up against it a little bit because they're in a college, you know, requirement stuff and they got a lot of study time. But uh, with all the things that are going on them, I couldn't ask them to be better. Um, I think all three guys have a chance to impact our team in big ways this season. Um, and I think that, you know, quite honestly, they gave us more versatility and depth than we've ever had. You know, everyone's going to be a big part of the team this year. Um, I can already see in practice that uh, we're more together team. We do stuff a lot more off the court. And, you know, people are just kind of getting in the flow a lot better than they were last year as opposed to where they – you know, they weren't doing as much in practice now. I can tell everyone's involved, so, you know, everyone's going to play a big role. I think there's always got to be a sense of urgency with what we do. I think along, along the lines of urgency, you're trying to define leaders. You're searching for guys that can, can communicate on the run who've been through it. And more than anything through these times, you're trying to find guys that vocally right now can lead our team. And I like where older guys have been. Uh, you know, watching a guy like Devin Oliver from when I first got here to where he's at right now. You know, it's, that, that's what coaching's about. You know, you, you, you want to see these guys grow. Um, and I'm, I'm thankful that some of these guys have made some of the strides that they have with their efforts. Uh, but it's, it's a great time of year. It's uncharted water, so to speak, for college basketball right now. You're kind of in that second year of off-season work and what's too much, what's too little. Um, and now that practice time has even increased into September for us, you know, we don't have a big preseason. So I think that this time of year is really, really important.